going to service 8430 today for uh, wheat harvest prep. Gotta back this guy out of the way. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I just realized. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this. Just gotta make sure not to jump any of these little hills right here. Alright, but that's not the main reason for doing this. We gotta get the 8430 out. in here too fast those little power line guards those angled things are gonna hit the roof park it right here because our the way we fill it up there's a an air oil whatever it's an oil tank but you can fill this thing up with it. It's like an air nozzle, but oil. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost for words. Let it warm up for a bit, get the oil warm. Oh, spray that out too. Here's, an, uh, here's a project we got working on here. This is dad's truck, if you can believe it. He likes the paint scheme. Look at that. <laughs> That's the paint scheme. Here's the fenders. <laughs> it's a goofy truck so the frame was cut off that's the frame right there from this truck as you can see the same color and then we bought this frame welded it on i mean you can't even tell besides it being you know cleaned off that it's been welded that one's been the same we're just waiting for the the, the inserts frame rails so i can hold weight because we're going to need this for corn harvest this is what we use to fill the tractor up with oil Okay. I gotta figure out where the, uh, the oil drain plug is. I don't know where it is. There we go. Now I just have to find the drain plug. Uh, where is it? Ah, there it is. Cold. Gross. Oh well, it's in my hand now. <laughs> Holy cow, it's coming up fast. That is as black as black can be. Oh, to put the rest of the drain out. Now it's hot. Okay, well, let that run out and uh, do some fuel filters and a few other things. Ooh, antifreeze needs some uh, antifreeze. Check that air filter, blow that out. That definitely needs cleaned out. Change the fuel filters and the oil filter. Oh, I don't remember ever. Oh, I need the whole change. 
new one. Two That one's way too long. Might be this guy right here. No, it's a combine filter. Could be this one. Yep, that's it. Yep. And just. She's on. There is one more air filter. It is the cabin air filter. I believe we have changed it, but I can't be sure. Where'd that go? Check this guy. I'm sure this guy's filthy. <laughs> Yeah. Get rid of this guy. The dust is falling off it. Gross. We have, we do not have ILS, we have normal, so we are the 8430, so we do 27 quarts, or 25.5 liters, so 4 quarts is in a gallon, my brain can't handle that math, so we gotta put 6.75 gallons in it, so I'm gonna put 5.75 gallons in it, because we gotta put that thick Lucas stuff in it, so... We'll do, well, we'll do, yeah, we'll do 5.75. There we go, got it. Alrighty, time to put oil in it. Turn this guy on. <laughs> I can't see the screen though. Well, this is going to take a while. Boom, baby, right on the dot. So I'm not putting 6.75 in it because we need to get a gallon of really, really thick Lucas oil. So I've never actually used this thing, so that's a pretty cool system. Absolutely gushing out all over the floor. That's it, we're good. Well, everybody, still gotta clean the cab out, but that's, there's not really content in that, I guess you could say. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. See you later.